All right, hello, what's up? I just figured out this cool trick in Premiere Pro, so I opened up OBS just to make a short video because I was watching on YouTube and some people were like trying to explain it. And I saw an After Effects video and it was just terrible. But um, I figured out how to move images, um, images, videos, any layer in Premiere Pro. And this same thing will probably work in After Effects, but in After Effects you can just use the alpha mat. But this is super useful for whenever you're trying to maintain the same mask but move the image or video that you are trying to mask out. It's super useful. I thought it would work, and I, but I wasn't sure, and then I tried it out and it worked, and I was like, sweet, because what I'm trying to do is change the attributes of these muzzle flashes that I'm editing out right now, and I was masking out the weapon. You know, I was masking out the weapon. So, let me get to the point. All you do is go to Distort Transform. That's it. Distort Transform. That's all you need. So, you can leave the video right now, but I'm going to show how it works real quick. Um, pretty much the original transform, or uh, motion, whatever, transform in any layer is binded with the mask and opacity option because it's the attributes of that specific thing the transform um, in distort basically adds another transform on top of the other one so it's like stacked transforms so basically you can do whatever you want freely that's not the right one <clears throat> one sec Basically, you could do whatever you want in the Distort Transform freely, and it will keep the mask exactly the same. You can move it, you can skew it, which I actually didn't think about doing that, that might look cool in this. But you can rotate, change the opacity, and it's all completely separate um, from the original Transform, because if you try to do it here, the mask will move with it. And this is a super useful thing. I've thought of a couple uses for it that I'm going to uh, remember to use it for in uh, later projects. But for this one I'm working on, it's very useful just for this. So I wanted to share it because there's nothing at all on the internet about it. And I saw a couple forums on Adobe's website and nobody seems to um, have this workaround figured out. So I'm just going to post it and hopefully help at least one person. So yeah, that's it. Distort Transform. And you could do whatever you want. And that mask will not move whatsoever. Thanks for watching.